I am really inspired by other art and different forms of art. Online, on social media, there's so many creative art forms, people painting like 3D paintings where it looks like there's a giant hole in the ground. I saw someone the other day bending paper with their fingers so it looked like a lifelike face. There's so many creative ways that people are coming up with, uh, not just ways to paint, but sculpt or anything. You see the, a pile of garbage, but then it casts a shadow on the wall of a, of a beautiful scene. I would have not have thought to do that. So there's so many different ways that people are being creative. And I think, especially on social media now, it's awesome that we can see art from all over the world and all the different cool things that people are doing. generally work on commission so I'm doing a job for a client so I like to collaborate with them to bring their idea to life so I'm not necessarily painting my painting but I'm painting their vision I got into art at an early age following in my brother's footsteps as a younger brother would do uh, my brother was drawing a comic book style art and I sort of started to do the same I was very influenced by Nate at first, I didn't have my own voice. I did his style, the comic book style art. And I think I, ne I never really found myself that way and I was never quite as good. It wasn't until later in life that I re-got into art and this time I picked up the airbrush and I've been able to grow on my own path that way. Jordan didn't really get into art until I think a little bit older when he picked up an airbrush, probably 19 or 20 or something like that. But his growth with it was just insane. Like he was already killing it, drumming and skateboarding. So it was really nice to see him just crush it. Like it's impressive, it honestly, it really is. Because he went from basically zero to 10 in the shortest amount of time that you could. During high school, I kind of got out of drawing so much and I was really focusing on drumming and later I got a job at an industrial painting place. Because I did have a drawing background, everyone suggested that I pick up an airbrush because an airbrush is the automotive art tool. I just started hobbying it and I wanted to paint my own drum kit. I had an idea for what I wanted to do, so I worked towards those skills to develop them so I could paint my own drum kit, which was my first sort of like completed piece that I did. I think that painting helmets just sort of fell into my lap. As I was working at the industrial painting place, a coworker of mine wanted me to paint a helmet for him. And I did it just for fun, for free. And he was so happy with it that he commissioned me to do another one, this time for money. And I think I quickly realized that I'm probably gonna have a better time painting something someone else wanted on something they already cherish, rather than trying to paint a canvas and sell it to someone, hoping that they have the same vision as I do. As well as being a helmet painter, I'm more primarily an airbrusher. Helmets and especially goalie masks are quite popular in here in Canada, so I do a lot of that. But I also uh, dabble in body paint, and I paint shoes. I'm kind of an everything guy. I've done large murals. I've done things as small as like uh, glasses frames for someone. So I don't really turn down a project that I'm interested in, no matter what the canvas is. I do my pre-work and design digitally now. So I'll work on my computer and I will come up with a concept, uh, whether it's drawing it, collaging things together and present that to the customer. And we'll have a back and forth until we both are happy with the design and then I'll move on to the actual painting process. Having so much experience with an airbrush is definitely become my form of art. Uh, I do use brushes a little bit, but I find myself definitely struggling using a brush or not having the control that I watch some brush only artists have. I'm happy to use lots of different mediums or tools to create the art. I find the customer doesn't care 
what tools you use, they just care about the end result. So I find a lot of times artists say, oh, I'm only an airbrusher, so I'll only use an airbrusher. But if it can create, uh, and I went through that for a bit, but if it can create a better end product by using uh, erasers, using pencils alongside the airbrush, then by all means, I'll, I'll use that. Um, the more tools you have at your disposal, the better your end result is gonna be. Music is also a, a separate creative outlet for me. So my older brother, Nate B, is one of the biggest influences for me, for sure. Even sometimes I struggle on projects and I, I run things by him and we just will riff off each other. It's really great, definitely the biggest inspiration for me. Also, I grew up watching him be in bands and I thought that was very cool and I gravitated towards playing music as well. I moved more to drums where he plays guitar and that worked out for us in the long run because now we're in a band together, a progressive metal band called Illuminated Minerva. Jordan and I, we support each other. We talk a lot about art and music. He asks me sometimes about illustrative support, like does this look good or anything like that, because I have a bit more experience in the physical drawing part of it, but he is a crazy artist too. Most proud of Jordan, honestly, for killing it. Like that guy is really good at putting himself out there. You know, he's, not that he has no shame, but he has almost no fear, like, I'm a little more reserved. I don't like, I'm not good at selling myself. I don't like, I don't like that aspect of art really, but he's great at it. He embraced it and it, and it shows like, you know, he definitely is, it works in his favor. <laughs> I think what I like the most about being an artist is I have the creative freedom to work on what I want to work on. I do deal with customers and commissions, so I have deadlines. But if I'm, if my focus isn't on that, I can switch. Like say the band has like a recording coming up. I can focus my time on playing drums a little bit more. If I'm not feeling what I'm working on, I can edit videos because I like to, you know, film videos of my art process. So just having the freedom to work on what I want to work on is probably my favorite part. And just constantly being creative and working towards my creative outlets. I took a, a pretty big risk in leaving a nine to five job with a steady paycheck to pursue my art career. And it did come with a struggle and ups and downs as it does, because I do need to make bank. I need to earn enough on the job and I need to, I suppose, hustle enough to get the jobs done in time to pay the bills. But now I think it's paying off. I have, uh, you know, like about a year wait list constantly. And because of, of that, I have less fear in losing a job. So I'm able to comfortably charge more, not worry if I don't get the job. So I think it's a gamble that paid off. My advice to an artist that is starting out is to work your skills, get your skill level up there, but don't be afraid to share that process. People wanna watch the journey. Not everything you do has to be perfect. Uh, that'll come in time, you'll grow, you'll get better. So when you look back at a piece from a few years ago, it's not gonna be as good as you are today. So don't be afraid that it's not good enough. You'll grow, you'll get better. Yeah, dealing with customers, can be tricky and especially when you're starting out. You don't necessarily have a great portfolio yet so you might have to do a little bit of the like painting for a buddy, painting for family and friends. That definitely happens at the beginning of your career and you're gonna eventually gain enough of a portfolio that you can get some more high paying clients and you just have to turn that hobby into a job. It's eventually gonna earn you some money but you gotta, you gotta develop that portfolio first. 
for the future for me, I just, I plan on keeping grinding, keeping doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna ride that wave. It's going good so far, but I definitely have ambitions for bigger projects. I'm moving into doing some video stuff, some stop motion things that I'm just doing for now for a hobby, but who knows what could come from it. This was a hobby when I first started. So where I'll go with it, I mean, I'm sure I'll keep getting better and producing more work, but I might go in different directions as well. Whatever the art journey takes me, that's where I'll go. Thank you.